Hi everyone, it's Kim here and in this video I'm going to be showing you some video track improvements in Storyboard Pro 20. Now as you may know, in the past you've been able to take layers from panels and drag them onto video tracks. Well, we've taken that and we've improved it. Not only can you drag layers to video tracks, but you can also draw onto those video clip layers. So for example, I'm going to grab part of the background from this panel and drag it onto my video track. This is going to make a clip. And in the past, you wouldn't be able to draw directly onto this clip. You would have to draw on the panels and then move that back onto your video track. But now you can see that when I select that clip, my layers pop up over here as well. It gives you a heading to tell you which video track you're on and you're able to add as many layers as you like. You can even add bitmap layers to these clips. So if I want to go and edit part of this background, maybe add some more lines over here on the rocks, I'm able to do that directly onto the clip instead of having to do it on the panel and then move it back onto the video track. Another thing you can do is right click on the video track and add a new empty clip. This is exactly the same, it's just that there aren't any drawings on this clip, so you can draw anything you like. And maybe we could draw something happening up here. And then just like you saw previously, you'll be able to add as many layers as you like to this clip. Another thing we've done is we've changed up the colors a little bit. So now if you bring in a video clip, you'll be able to see the difference between your video track clips and your actual videos. You can see that the colors on these are also different from the audio clip colors. And if I select this video over here and add some layers, you can see these colors are repeated in the layer system as well. And the last thing I'm going to mention is the ability to link video clips and audio clips to a specific panel. So I'm going to use this sound down here as an example. Let's zoom in a little bit. And you'll see that basically this sound is linked to the panel where its first frame lies. So basically it would be this panel. So if I had to move this panel in any way, the clip would follow that specific panel. If I were to grab it and move it into a different scene, the clip would follow it. Now the only problem with that is if we wanted the sound to actually sync with this panel instead, maybe you've got a fade on the sound that comes from this panel and then the majority of the sound actually happens over this panel over here, it would be a little bit frustrating to have this follow that panel instead. So now you have the ability to actually link these two together. All you have to do is hold down control or command for Apple and select the panel along with any clips you would like to link. You can actually link multiple clips and don't forget you can also link video clips and then right click link clips to panel. Now this clip is linked to this panel instead of this one. So if I move this panel, that's the one that it's going to follow, but it will still move down with the timeline if I happen to change the duration in any way. You'll also see that when I select that panel, it selects every linked clip with it. And if I delete that panel, it will delete the linked clips as well. To unlink a clip, you can right click on the clip and untick the linked clips to panel. And you'll see the little chain will be removed. And those are some video track improvements in Storyboard Pro 20.